I was very on the fence on buying this game and the reason for me hesitating is probably the same reason that a lot of people are having when it comes to Elden Ring and that is I heard it's so difficult. I hope you want to stick around for the entire video. I have a lot to say, I think. What is Elden Ring? It is an open world game and you cannot escape this game. You've heard about it. Everyone is talking about it right now by From Software which is a funny name. And I gave in and I bought it. And the reason that made me enticed into buying this game, and I know it's a hard game, it's a Souls game. It is simply one thing actually, the selling point for a gamer like me. I am a person that likes to play games on easy. And I have said that for all the years. It was definitely the open world, the open world aspect of it. I love open world games, I can't help myself. And exploring is one of the most fun pastimes I can have in a video game. I just love exploring, finding secrets, finding caves. And you can see that sort of, Every time I talk about a game that I uh, like or enjoy or, you know, get very addicted into, it's often the open world genre that I keep on returning to and finding myself loving. If you say open world to me, it's like, yeah, I want to play it. But then again, what if you are a gamer that enjoys playing games on easy, like I do? I play a lot of games on easy, if I have the choice. I just want to have a fun, chill time in a video game and not necessarily die all the time. <laughs> hate dying. And if you are like me and you hate dying, then this video is for you. Because this is the confession of an easy gamer playing a Souls game. So Elden Ring, how is it? It is a hard game. You start off with a tutorial level and let me just put it this way. I died four times in the parry tutorial alone because I, I don't know, I didn't parry. I've never been a parry or block sort of gamer, but this is gonna change. Now I'm gonna be a parry master and block master because I'm sort of invested in this game by now. So who is it for? Obviously this game is for anyone who is a fan of open world games and also are not super afraid of dying. It's definitely for the people that enjoy boss fights that has a pattern to them because you have to memorize the boss's pattern. When are you gonna block? When are you gonna parry? So it's a trial and error sort of game. So it is definitely for the people that enjoys the challenge and wants a challenge. Ch challenge. <laughs> yeah. But I gave it a chance. So the story, I don't feel like there is a lot of story yet. I mean, the story is probably gonna come eventually, <laughs> but uh, so far you're just a person that is transported to this sort of underworld, other dimension sort of world. I'm not, I didn't really pay attention, but there wasn't a lot of story, I don't think. But the thing is that you're gonna find the Elden Ring, I think. <laughs> I'm so gonna screw up this story. But it's more about the atmosphere of the world, I feel like, and the one-to-one uh, -one meetings with the NPCs that you meet in the world. They are the stories that make a greater impact on me. The little stories, like the side quest stories, sort of. Like, I was riding around, I'm gonna take this as an example. I was riding around and suddenly I hear someone yelling, why can't you see me, hello? It's a quest, <laughs> which was like, I thought first it was a human that was being invisible and shouting for help in the woods but then I knocked down a tree and he revealed himself as a tree so that is an entire side quest also you come across these small houses and shacks with people that are looking for people or other kinds of things individual smaller stories it's a very atmospheric game definitely so the gameplay gameplay loop you have the start of the game, obviously, where you start off with choosing your class and your look and all of that. And the classes, they are Vagabond, which Tarniaz is playing, she said. You have Warrior, Hero, Prophet, Samurai, Prisoner, Confessor, which I'm playing. Astrologer also, I forgot to mention that. Or just a clean slate start. But it doesn't really matter which class you make, because you can customize your uh, build to be anything, eventually. So it doesn't really, really matter. But I choose Confessor, which is a sword and shield and a tiny bit of magic sort of person. Like a paladin, basically. Um, I'm gonna play it safe. And also, it was the coolest looking. Looks so hardcore. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so the graphics. In this game, 
uh, very beautiful. Amazing, amazing. I'm loving this world. Now, I don't have much bad to say about this world, and it's like... There's a day and night cycle, obviously. All games has that by now, but when the sun pops up over the horizon and hits my face, it feels like I'm in the game. And also, you know, I can tie this in with sound design. You can hear the leaves and the wind, and you... It's almost like I'm sitting there feeling that I'm getting the wind on my face and the sun in my eyes. <laughs> it's really realistic. I think that is definitely also what they were going for, but it's also, you know, a high fantasy RPG world. But the nature in itself looks amazing. And you have this big, grand, golden tree in the background always there. Several weather effects. You know, no game is perfect. There is a lot of grass popping, but it never bothered me. A lot of different biomes across the world also. I haven't explored the entire world, but I'm working my way to it. So, about the music. I had to turn the music down in settings because it's just a repeating sort of sad violin. <laughs> you know, like a suspenseful sort of violin that goes on slowly in the background. It's very there, very prominent. But sound effects and stuff, like the sound design of the game is excellent. But music hasn't done anything for me so far. <sighs> okay, so my tips and tricks. For Elden Ring. If you are like me and you like to play games on easy and you're scared of dying, you will die a lot, yeah. But the thing is, I'm not mad at dying as long as I'm not carrying around a lot of runes. Runes is the most important thing in the entire game, in my opinion, at least in the early game, when you try to, you know, build up your character and become stronger. Because these runes, you get them from selling things, killing enemies and stuff. Everything you do collects a, a little bit of runes. But if you die, you lose all of your runes. And you have to run back to the place where you died to pick up all your runes. But if you die on that way to pick up your runes, they are gone forever. So sometimes it is just smarter to spend your runes. Or, like I do, and one of my biggest, you know, early game tips is that <laughs> I hung around in the starter area and sort of like had, you know, the save spot castle. You're gonna see what I mean when you play the game. I hung around there and I killed the enemies that were close to me and constantly keeping within range so that I would feel safe. Never go into any confined spaces where I, if I eventually died and would you probably will eventually sometimes I would be able to go back and pick up my runes so avoid confined spaces be in more in the open and close to a spawn place I did this for a long time and accumulated a bunch of runes so that I could level up my character what is this called save camping playing it safe and playing it really carefully that is something that you can do you can do this game if I can do it, you can do it too. You just have to play carefully and focus on leveling up, especially HP. Also endurance is good for any build. And then you, you know, you can look up a guide online. But I'm focusing on Vigor and a tiny bit of endurance and a lot of strength also. Occasionally a point into dexterity because why not? I use both also. So in this game you can just ride and loot a lot. Loot everything. Because every single berry that you pick up, there were 10 runes, which you can sell to the Santa Claus. And also, for the longest time, you can avoid combat. Like the gates in the beginning of the game, you don't have to fight your way through everything. You can ride your way through a bunch of stuff. Avoid combat. Sometimes that is just the smartest, because you're too weak to fight eventual, you know, enemies. So you can definitely avoid combat. Is this game for me? Because of the open world, yes it is. It's very appealing to me. And since I found my own way and being persistent, focusing on leveling up and not wandering too far off, always being very careful, I'm finding a bunch of enjoyment in this game and I'm starting already to feel very powerful. So now I can wreck anything in the starting areas where I treaded very carefully earlier. Now I'm just riding around and killing everything in like two blows. 
it's excellent. So definitely, you can feel the character progression. The more time you're putting into your character, the more you're gonna get out of it, and you're gonna feel more powerful. Even just leveling up once, I felt much more powerful. So is the hype real? Yes, it is. There is a reason for people talking so much about this game, and they are mostly correct. It is a very difficult game. You will die a lot. The world is beautiful. And I'm just really, really mesmerized with this game. This game does not have any quest markers, so you have to pay attention to what your NPC fellow people are saying to you. Like right now, I can think of one quest that I'm not completely sure what I'm gonna do with, because I didn't pay attention, which I need to do, and that is he gave me a gesture to do a gesture towards some wolves in the forest, but I didn't pay attention, so I don't know where to go and where those wolves are. So that is just one example of where you have to, you know, pay attention a tiny bit at least. Okay, so this is my pro pro <laughs> So this is my progression. I am currently level 30. I am using a sword and a shield and I sometimes pop a heal. I occasionally use bows and I also use some simple ranged magic. That's it. Confessor is super fun to play. I can absolutely recommend this as a starting class. So what does this game remind me of? I thought long and hard about this. It reminds me, of course, a lot about a lot of other open world games, basically. There's some similarities to any open world game, like Breath of the Wild, or But I've never played a Souls game before, so I was not familiar with the leveling up and the runes and stuff like that, and that you lost all of your runes, just like Sonic loses all his rings when he is touched ever. It's somewhat punishing in a way. But in a way, the leveling up system reminds me of Zelda 2 for the NES, which I remember I played a lot. And it's like, I often save count to get enough points to level up. And then I felt safe to venture further in. I'm just gonna add this also. You have to find map fragments to unlock your map. Um, they are pretty much, for the most part, fairly obvious to find by just normal exploration. And this game really rewards exploration. Definitely explore. That is what I love to do, riding around on my mount, which is called Torrent. <laughs> it must be a piracy horse or something. I'm just riding around, doing a lot of mounted combat, which I find to be very satisfying. Looting everything, looking everywhere. I played 11 hours my first day with Elden Ring. I had nothing else to do that day, but that is besides the point. I loved every second, except for the times when I died in the beginning of the game. But the thing is, the more I played, I wasn't mad at dying because it becomes a natural thing you're not mad the loading screen after you die isn't terrible so that is not annoying the crap out of me or anything so in order to enjoy this game you need persistence don't give this game up just give it some time taking baby steps and know that you can avoid combat a lot in this game also i still haven't fought a boss so that means you can avoid bosses for a very long time. If I'm ever gonna come across a boss that is game blocking me, progression blocking me, I mean. I have a friend that's gonna come and help me with th those bosses because I'm not really good at dodging and parrying and all of that tactical stuff. Stuff. So that is all I had to say about Elden Ring. I'm playing it on Xbox Series X and um, I like it. I like it a lot. And it gets better the stronger I become in the game. But then again, I have yet to do any bosses, which I'm not looking forward to. I hate hard games. Such an easy gamer. Thank you so much for watching. We have a podcast recording today, actually. Disc it is. Super fun podcast. We talk about all sorts of things. Comedy, science, and video games, and life in general. <laughs> Me and Tiny Hats. Super fun. Link down below. Now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.